think the death of young dog is affecting oh, the shot. Man. Not only, not only you know Memphis where he's from, it's affecting but the everybody. South. Everybody, it's affecting everybody. Fuck this. It's, it affects the South, but as the whole America, bro, every hood in America felt that shit, dog. Everybody that knew Dolph or that was a Dolph fan or even heard of him, niggas felt that. That shit was fucked up. Niggas set my dog up. Damn, boy. I just tell you right there, you got to be careful, man. You know what I mean? You make it. You can still go to your hood, you feel me, and show love. You know, rest in peace, Nipsey, same thing happened to him. You can go to your hood and show love and shit, but, man, if you got fucking, I'm going to keep it real. I hate to say it. If you got 10, if you got uh, over a million in the bank, especially 10, 20 million, bro, every time, if you're not stepping outside a suburban area, I'm sorry, or something that's really safe for gated community, every time you go inside your hood or to another hood, you should have some. You should have security. And I'm not talking about boom. Um, your boy Joe Black. I'm sitting here with my boy Lord Byron L B. LA to LA thing. Nolan's in this building. And, and, and we're chopping it up, man, because it's grimy in every city, everywhere. But down south in them sticks, bro. Is it fair to call it the sticks? Yeah, bro. Down there in Memphis. So what you're telling me it's not safe for a, a successful anything to come back home? Fuck no. Look, let me tell you. I know. Look, all right. I know. I know the nigga who killed fucking. This ain't no snitch shit. Everybody knows it's on the news. I'm saying I know this nigga personally. Oh, okay. Who killed. You know, <laughs> now, I know the nigga. Here. Listen, listen. The NFL player, Saints, fucking Saints, I think he was a defensive lineman. This nigga got killed. You feel me? His name was Will Smith. He got killed in New Orleans on some road rage shit. You feel me? I know the nigga who killed him. And the nigga got off. The nigga just got off this shit this year. He, he got out or he beat the, the case? The nigga beat the case. He was sitting in jail for like five, five years. You heard me? Trying to beat the shit. Boom, boom, boom. Going to trial back and forth. The nigga beat the shit because they said Will Smith was out there tripping. NFL player. Nigga killed my dog, Joe McKnight. NFL player. Nigga killed all the rappers that live in New Orleans. You live there, you get smashed. Bam. So, so I'm telling you, these the niggas is killing not just rappers. They're killing NFL players, NBA Random. players. Random. Anything, so successful. anything successful. Nigga, you can be an actor. You can be a fucking engineer. The successful doc They'll kill Dr. Phil. You feel me? And I hope that that never happened. They're doing. From New Orleans? No, you're from New Orleans. Oh, I know a girl from New Orleans. What name? Uh, Eldon, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. Whatever her name is, they'll kill her ass out there. That's how crazy it is. They don't give a fuck, bro. Well, you gotta think though too. Ellen DeGeneres no ain't love, going back no to the love. hood first and foremost. Not no fuck the hood. I'm not talking about the hood. I'm talking about the nice parts of New Orleans. Will Smith didn't get killed in the hood. Joe McKnight didn't the NFL, both of them NFL players did not get killed in the hood. These okay, niggas got killed in white areas. Well, then, 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 okay, but let's and separate these oh, this was a white let's man that killed them. my dog. I'm telling you, white people ain't playing. The white people go all kill you. You feel me? Ain't well, just they ain't just too. ain't just black people. You feel me? That goes for race. That's what I'm saying, but that's what you got to do. Don't forget, I think he was up against his own hood, dog. Like the nigga set him up. Like, you get, I don't know if y'all y'all know the fucking what's going on. Like, they found the car. You feel me? The car was at the trap house that a bando where a uh, key Glock and a bunch of young Duff artists prof be at shooting videos. Niggas, they got PRE chains. These are facts. The, these are facts. You feel me? Okay. Like, these are facts. So, it had to be a setup, though. Somebody around him or somebody around him him you feel what i'm saying you feel what i'm saying, what I'm saying? somebody around his people you know? he's a jealousy most likely most likely but i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna keep it thorough which i heard Dolph had beef with a lot of niggas they say he had beef with some niggas you feel me and well you let's let's say this this is why i don't fuck around with group shit and games and and, and fuck around with uh too many rappers bro because say me and this nigga and three other niggas in a group 
boom, boom. Me and this nigga are cool. We don't never be for nobody. We don't even know what the fuck going on. Right. You feel me? Me and this nigga, these, the other three niggas are all young niggas that we trying to put on. Me and him already on. You feel me? We already established. We up here. We trying to put these young niggas on. These young niggas is beefing with other niggas. Boom, 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 boom. For some happen, these young niggas are from our same hood. Bam. Man, you go back to the hood. You feel me? These niggas end up killing me and you over some shit these little niggas have going on. You feel me? That's how I go to sometimes. Well, it's, it, 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 it says here that uh, the suspects allegedly identified the owner of the white bands and find out who owned Yeah, so they said they saying the, the owner of the white bands was, so they said somebody, they saying, that's, I don't know if it's a fact, they saying somebody stole the white bands from a, a lady at a nail, a nail tech. But then again, they showing videos of 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 these these little rapper niggas that was that took the PRE chain that was bullying. So I'm hearing too, they had some niggas that was bullying these niggas uh, PRE, like Dolph Group and shit, mm. taking them niggas chains and doing all type of shit, like like kind of bullying them niggas basically. It felt like they was going at it, boom boom. But yeah, man, shit crazy, it's fucked up, bro. It's fucked up. You know, some, some shit, you know, I, I done been in the streets. I know street niggas. It's just some shit that I just probably won't ever get when it comes to being jealous and murking niggas. Yeah, I, I don't understand that shit. Like, I never, because I, you ain't that type of, it's, it really got fucked up people out here like that. Yeah, yeah. So with that being said, man, we done chopped it up, man. Rest in peace, young dog. Rest in peace, my young dog, mm-hmm. Ado, man. My dog, bro, that nigga was a, a legend, man. Like, I look up to that nigga, man. Like, damn, I I, I don't ever want to be like another nigga, but I, I inspired to be where he was at and doing the things he was doing. Right. I definitely wanted to do that. I, I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm going up. You feel me? So, man, that's fucked up. Rest in peace, Dolph and Nipsey, man. Can't forget about Nipsey. Same shit happened to him, dog. Two, two. Fiery. That's crazy how niggas yeah, hate right. you and try to kill you. Yeah. But and, and, and but check this out. I'm just going deep, but I'm just quick before we go on. These niggas, see these niggas that tried that killed Nipsey. The nigga that killed him thought, oh yeah, I'm getting this nigga out of here. Like niggas that killed Dolphin, niggas that be trying to kill people on hate. I'm getting them out of here. I'm so happy out of here. What if these niggas don't know that the life these niggas living now, their next life is a thousand times better than this one? Not a, yeah, yeah. You don't know you just did them a favor. I'm not saying that it's a it's a it's it's a favor to get killed or die. But what if you know you did them niggas a favor? You just don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean? They went on to the next life. To they fuck went your, on to the to next fuck your bitch in the next yeah, life. Yeah, like to do some shit like that. And, and the next life, they're now they're ahead on the next life. So when you get to the next, you're not even gonna get with it. It's like like in life. What if life is levels like that? My my question is that's crazy. My question is when you when you, when you when you assassinate niggas like this, how much better did your life get? They got worse. <laughs> how, much, <laughs> how much better did your life get? You know what I'm saying? Worse. For gunning this man down. But see, there you go. Playing a fucking balance scale. There's no way that if I want to do the, the killer, his life automatically gets worse. It's no way that it has to be balanced. There's yeah. no way the person that died, his life is worse. His afterlife. His afterlife has to be better. It has to be balanced. You feel me? There's no way his life could be worse and his life could be worse. And a whole it, no. It don't work like that. The universe. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I just, you know, did, yeah. did, did, did it make a difference when you did what you did to you? And it made a difference to him, all his family. It's your boy Joe Black High Radio. I got my boy LB in the bitch. Why they call me LB? For Lord Byron and for Powell, the whole thing.